Pramod Kumar Das, who is the host of this webinar, and he has been assigned with the responsibility to present the synopsis of the talk of Professor Naik. Hearty welcome to you. I welcome Dr. Vasan Kumar Das, sir, who is in charge of providing technical assistance to Professor Naik. Warm welcome. I also welcome Professor Sir, I also welcome all others who are attending this webinar. Before inviting Professor Nisinak sir to address this lecture, I wish to introduce Professor Nayak sir. He is very much known to many of us present here in the webinar. <laughs> Professor Nayak graduated from Ravenka College, Katak, okay. in 1954. Completed his MA from Allahabad University in 1956 and was awarded the doctoral degree by the University of Bristol, England, in 1965. Professor Nayak joined as lecturer in PG Department of University in 1958. Subsequently, he became a reader and a professor at Uttar University. From 1989 to 92, he served as the Vice Chancellor of the Jagannath Sanskrit University, Puri. He retired from service from Uttar University, Bhuvaneshwar, in 1995. He served as visiting professor to various universities. From 99, 1999 to 2000, he was the UDC Emeritus Fellow to Banaras Hindu University. From 2001 to 2006, he served as Senior Fellow of Institute of Advanced Study, Kimla. He held a number of important positions in various academic circles. He has published <laughs> He has around 300 articles in his credit. He has edited five books. Professor Nayak has also delivered in various seminars and conferences in different parts of the world. He has also organized a number of seminars and conferences at the state and national level. He was a regular columnist in Odia Daily newspaper Saman. So, lot of family really proud to have Professor Nayak with us. I welcome Professor Nayak once again. Welcome you, sir. Please you. address your lecture, sir. Thank you. Thank you all. Over to Professor Nayak for his lecture. Good evening to you all. And happy new year to all. Friends. Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devu Mahishwar, Guru Shakshat Parabra, Tasme Sri Guru. It is very kind of you, friends, to have given me this opportunity to talk to you after some gap of one month. The subject has been chosen by you all, philosophy and ethics. This is a very vast subject actually. It is very difficult on my part to deal with this subject. I consider it to be very difficult subject. Philosophy by itself is past subject and so also is ethics. And let me see if I can do justice to this subject. Even if I don't do any justice, I leave it 
or the posterity for all of us to fill in the blanks. Now, first of all, we must know that philosophy is to search for truth. And that too, the absolute. That is known as reality, ultimate reality. And to know this ultimate reality, we have to distinguish reality from appearance. And ethics deals with the highest good. So we have, for us, absolute truth, absolute truth, and absolute good as our. Now, this is a matter of thought, and I'm not sure if we have reached the end of philosophy or ethics up till now, or I am not even sure that at any time mankind can reach this end. So I think it is a continuous search, continuous process. And in this process, we have some guidances from our gurus, from our masters who have gone before us. That's all. And the greatest master to whom we owe our allegiance in the Indian context is Lord Krishna, the Lord of the Bhagavad Gita and of Srimad Bhagavad. So we bow down to him first of all. Vasudeva Sutam Deva, Kamsa Chanura Mandana, Deva Ki Paramananda, Krishna Mande Javandu, Krishnaya Vasudevaya, Deva Ki Nandanaya, Nanda Gopakvaraya, Uvindaya Nandana. Krishna is thus a symbolic for our search for truth and reality. Ultimate truth and ultimate reality. Now, in this search, the search is not so simple when we are confronted with very many obstacles in this search. One is our social system, our lifestyle, and they are not sometimes conducive to the ultimate search of truth. Let me give you a few examples in our lives, which have stood on the way. Take the case of the practice of Sati, Sati Pratha. 
in our society, which went on for a long time. And those who followed this, some of them might have been scoundrels, but others were sincerely following a, a process which they thought was a process leading to the ultimate reality of truth. They were sincere believers in such so that they thought that when a, a woman is burnt alive after the death of a husband, he is actually going to a place called heaven. So this type of love of truth is actually love of truth or reality is actually harmful to ourselves. Let me take you to some holy past and the story of Sambhuka, the Shudra, who was beheaded. The story goes, was beheaded because he was a Shudra. He was below, he belonged to the lowest strata of the society. He was not supposed to do penance. As he went for penance, there was a hue and cry. And he was ultimately beheaded by the head of the state. Because he was doing something which is against the truth or reality. So look at our system, which most of the times stand on the way of our real love of truth, real love of reality or truth. I will give you two examples. I will give you, I can, you can give yourself thousand and one examples. There is another proof, another example also. Take the case of Sabitri by Fule, who wanted to study in those days, even in the 19th century, but he was not allowed to go to school because he was just a woman. Women are not fit to go for study. That means they are not fit to search, up, search for truth. They are unfit. This is a way of standing on the way of our search of truth, our ultimate reality. Take the case of the echo of reality. In those days, holy past, we don't know who was the echo of reality. Where was he? Where, when this thing happened actually? But they are slurs on our social being and on so called social Ecolobia's finger was cut short so that he cannot compete with the prince like whether it was or Duryodhana. They were on one level. Karna was also prohibited from joining a competition because he was not a king, till Duryodhana made him the king of a particular province. So these are some of the obstacles on the way of certain truth. They, are, they might be looking as something social or socio-political, but as a matter of fact, they are standing on the way of our search of truth ultimate truth, reality, because all these are nothing but our mental stigma which stick to us, our mind and stand on the way. In this, the son of a king is not shit with the son of a commoner. Nowadays, 
similar things are also possible. So such this uh, ethics and philosophy are not in the safe hands. I must tell you. Safe hands, it is not in the safe hands because those who may be advocating the cause of the ultimate truth may not be real advocates. They may have certain acts to grind of their own and then the source of truth becomes a mere hoax. So let us be always prepared for such hoax that can happen in our search. Philosophers are always aware of this. Therefore, their achievements are few and far between. It is better to have little achievement, a little achievement, than to have a sort of self-satisfaction that we have believed to go or is the highest reality, ultimate reality. The same thing happened at the time of the Kurukshetra war. Arjuna was all the while thinking that he is not to fight. This is not proper. So the proprietor and impropriety question arose here. Till Krishna pointed out to him that this propriety impropriety question is not only one layer question, a multi layer question. That's why these multi layer questions need to be analyzed, chased out. That's why there was necessity of talking about so many yogas. Jnana Yoga, Bhakti Yoga, Jnana Yoga, and so on and so forth in Bhagavad Gita. Endless, till Krishna told Arjuna, and that was only to silence him. Sarva Dharma and Parityaja, Mahametra, Sarnangrata, Amutva, Sarva Papadya, Mukhesha, Mahasitra. That is purely personal. That was not a universal truth. He just preached there. The universal truth had been preached by him earlier. And yet he was vacillating. Therefore, last week, Sri Krishna told Arjuna that you must not vacillate. You have Take it and go to war. Agyanen abhutam jnanam tenam vihantivam. This is Bhagavad Gita. First, ignorance, nescience, covered by so called knowledge. And for that, so many things and necessities, so many preparations are necessary. Bhaktya manga vijana ati javan rasta sin tattota, tattoma tattoto kyatva, isate tattota. There is a concept of bhakti again, which comes here. Bhakti. You have to take Isha to somebody, but that bhakti again should not be blind. So who will guarantee that you will be a bhakta and you will not be a blind man? Those who were opposing Sabitri by Pule, 
if they know no no that they are doing they are doing something wrong and yet they were following it for some other reason maybe for their personal gratification but they and this is always throughout our search of searching philosophy and ethics they have been standing on the way of this so called search for truth or reality it's a very important point i put it before you and i pray to you i that kindly whenever we do start searching for truth or ultimate you see you try to analyze whether this search of yours is a genuine search or it is only a hoax because it is very difficult to analyze and distinguish the truth from the false from the reality that's why the reality and appearance this distinction is so very important and so very difficult to stick to there is a door to which i found no there is a veil past which i could not see a little talk away from me and the, the seemed no more here that means we are taking the credit for something of which we are not very fit that that has been shown in bhagavad gita i cannot discuss bhagavad gita fully here it's impossible actually But in the Gita, Lord has said that you can get it through devotion, but but devotee again should be free from bias and prejudices. All those bias and prejudices about which I have spoken earlier, whether in the case of Sambuka or in the case of Sati Pratha. or in all other side there would be a few examples but we are meeting those obstacles every now and then so philosophical search philosophy search is if it is genuine it is a, if it is a strenuous search and long lasting search it goes on In the case of Jesus Christ, he was murdered in those days. Simply murdered. Then people came to realize that there was some truth in what he what he preached. So human society is not as clean as it appears. There is blood, human blood, not only human, animal blood also. They are all smeared with the blood of the enemy, so-called enemy. Therefore, such needs to be genuine. The genuineness, philosophy stands for genuineness. Concept, something genuine, and ethics is only a reflection of philosophy in our practical play, practical life. How to be the man at the touch? The truth. His behavior must be different from others, and at the same time. Interest in the 
good of humanity. Not only in the good, universal good, but in the good of humanity. And when you search for good, you search for human, human good is there. It should not be overloaded with our own prejudices. The, pre the prejudices will stand against it. So what, what to do about it? This happened in those days, good old days, when Sri Krishna was born and was transferred to, from Mathura to Gopal overnight by his father, Vasudeva, because the truth, the ultimate truth, ultimate reality was to flourish in a better surrounding, in a surrounding where it can be nurtured. So philosophy and ethics, they are nurtured in a society which can give them a free hand. But when, when I am talking of free hand, I am also not talking of anything that will go against humanity. That also is our own concern. It should not go against larger human interest. In case of Savitri Bhai Phule, it was a few people wanted to get their work done, therefore they wanted that women should not study. Study the Shastras. If they study the Shastras, they will create problem. Same similar is the case of Sambuka and also Ekalabdha, the story of Ekalabdha. There are only a few examples which are coming to my mind at present. But if you search the human history, you will find numerous instances. That is why atheism or theism is not the problem. Whether we are atheists or theists. Some of us are atheists, some of us are theists. That's not the real problem. Whether you believe in God, or whether you do not believe in God. That is not the point. The point is what sort of God you are believing in. What sort of God you are believing in. Therefore those like Swami Vivekananda, my friend Raksar, Basan Das has recently done his PhD on Swami Vivekananda. Swami Vivekananda famous, became famous in that world religion, parliament world religions, because he cited the sloka from Shiva Mahimna. Famous Shiva. Shiva Mahimna itself is famous, but one of the shlokas which is cited in those days was Trai Sankhyam Yogam Pashupatamatan Vaishnavamiti Pravinne Prasthane Paramitamada Patthamiti Utinam Vaichitya Dhuvu Utiranana Pashmata Runam Eko Gamta whether you believe in Sankhya Yoga or this or that philosophy, Indian philosophy or Western philosophy, Greek philosophy, 
or any other philosophy, that's not important. Ethics, also the similar ethics. Indian ethics and Western ethics, that's not the point. Point is, we must not. But the cause of it, you say whether you are a Vaishnava, whether you are a Shaiva, whether you are a Sakta, that's not important. Similarly, if you are an, an atheist or very humanist, all right, no problem. You don't believe there are some friends of ours who, are, who take credit of the atheist. Doesn't matter. So long as they're, they are standing for higher human values. And don't talk of higher human value in the name of something mean, something lowly. I am standing for higher human values and I am no, I am prohibiting women for going to school because that stands on the way of truth or reality. That is merely a sort of a blinking in the face of truth. Aankh marna aap samajte honge. Aankh mitka marna. Just <laughs> blinking in the face of truth. Look at ours. These are some of the those people like us who are professors or teachers. They naturally give emphasis on these lines or such lines, whether in Saundar Jalari. Shiva Satya Jukta Jadi Mahabhati Satya Prabhita Satya Deva Devo Naku Saras Padita Adat Plans Arajan Hariya Ravili Bidhan Chayaji Virapi Prantum Stotum Ba Patamakuta Punya Prabhupada This is in Saundar Dharari or Anand Dharari Here Gors like Mullah Gors like Brahma Vishnu or Shiva They are seen worshipping Goddess. In some other places, Mom, Lakshmi may be worshipping Lord Vishnu and so on and so forth. And similarly, Deyam Badanti Siva Meva Hikeji Dhanne Shakti Ganesama Pariyatu Diva Karambai Rupaishtu Taira Vivaasi Yatashto Meva Tasmato Meva Sarana Mama Sankapada. Those who are believers in Vaishnavism. They think that Vishnu himself is the manifestation of Shiva, Ganesha, and all others. So these are different forms, different ways. Of ways of what? Not of worshipping only. Ways of publicizing, referring to our love of truth. Try to Pinpoint this, our love of ultimate good. Good which does not mean anything without the good of humanity. And humanity does not mean a particular religion or particular, as it is called, particular caste, creed or so. To in, in, in Indian philosophy, Western philosophy, also the same thing. We had different ways of propagating this ultimate truth that or ultimate good, which is in, in, uh, propagated in the form of eudaimonism, perfectionism in ethics is preached 
but when it is practiced in by the by the man any particular man it again comes to a sort of hoax sort of the man himself is not as perfect as he appears to be because he has his own personal ambitions kama yesha bhagavad gita says kama yesha krodha yesha rudhuna samurtha mahasano mahapapna vidhinam yavayina kama and krodha they are always there they will so gita always refers to that it is referring to it but it always says that you must be aware of these enemies permanent enemies so look at i am just i might miss this in gopikas in gopis gopika geeta in bhagavat refers to a few women who did not know the very did not understand the nuances of philosophy or politics but they understood the actual essence of love and truth whatever you call it just as it is it happened in case of jesus if you were to ask jesus would he be able to um, talk give a talk on christian philosophy he may not be knowing what is christian philosophy but he knows love understands love if you ask cb ramani may not be knowing philosophy as we understand it but he loves the truth this is most important and savitri bai phule was also against all this he was standing as a great head to all those women who were being turned by the, the, the people of those days or who women education is a sort of curse so when the i will start cite a few portions from gupika gita where is gopis ordinary cowherd girls ordinary they had they didn't have any degree behind them very important point is this did you write any thesis they were not holding any great post in the public field this is most important or even their family, family life i don't know but they could understand what for this boy has come from mathura to bopo he is representing something eternal that which we call ultimate truth reality so many names 
Sami Bivetanda put that Putin and Vaichitra, Ruzu, Putiranana, Potentia, Unang Eko Governor. Then you call him Shiva. Here you call him Shakti. In this context, in another context, you call him Vishnu. Doesn't matter. That's why I said whether you are a theist or a theist is not so important. What is important here are these values. And how do you understand these values? How do you depict these values? The values of the good. So when the Krishna will disappear from the sight of the Bhagavad Gopikas were searching for Krishna in that darkness of light and darkness of night and were talking about Krishna's reality. What is he standing for? Nakhuru Gopika and reciting a few Sanskrit shlokas. It doesn't mean that Sanskrit is the, uh, is the um, storehouse of truth. I know there is no other language for that. We have, we have seen um, the truth being repeated also in so many other languages, German or and, uh, Italian or whatever it is. That's not important. But I am, because I know this, I am just reciting. Nakhalu Gopika Anandana Bhavan Akhira Dehi Nangantara Atmati And I will recite a few lines from Jagannath Das Bhagavad And I wonder how that boy I call him a boy because this type of search starts from your boyhood I think this must have started in his mind in those early days Jagannath Das, when he found that his mother could not read the Sanskrit Bhagavat, and see he was trying to translate or transliterate or put it in the words in the Uriya language for his mother and in such a way that it will be attractive. And it will, be, it will be, he will be attracted to the, those. No more using or term on the paramaka. He will be true to forever. They will manage it. What is this? Very difficult to understand. Very difficult to digest. I, I myself could not digest it for, for so many years. He will be true to forever. They will manage it. What is this? What is this? Lila, is it Lila actually? The question may be raised. And Devo Manavagotara is very important because when he comes in the form of Narasingha, the new form you don't know, and they, that, will, they, that may come in form of Corona or Super Corona stage. Devo Manavagotara. <laughs> Because this is the, the truth, ultimate truth, ultimate good is not anybody's pocket money. You cannot pocket it. That's the government that's new. You are the Brahmin, like any other Brahmin. But there was something extra. Something extra. And what is that extra? We can't say. We can't put it. Jagannath Das is Jagannath Das. So it is Bhagavan. The point is a kind of soul. Let me decide those Sanskrit portions just to add some value to it, which may be valuable for those who are pundits. Gopika Nandari says, Nakhalu Gopika Nandano Bhavan. 
you are not Jashodhan Mantra. We don't look at you as just a son of Yashoda. Akul Gopika Nandana Bhava. Akhira Dehina Kantaratma Du. I will I will read out the translation of Jagannath. That's 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 much better. Uh, uh, without translating myself. Nakul Gopika Nandana Bhava. Akhira Dehina Nand. Ordinarily I will translate. Akhira Dehina Kantaratma Du. Vikanasar Chitu Vishwa Bhutte Shapav Deva Chakrata. Virachita Abhayam Bhushri Dhujyate. Let me decide just to give it a sanctity which you want, we will be wanting in the form of Srimad Bhagavad. Nakul Bhush Gopika Nandana Kubana Kriyatina Mantra. This Tamritam Tapaji and Kavi Vita Karmasapa, Shona Mangaram Shimadatta, who be known today with Ajana taking that word Kotamrita, Ramakrishna Kotamrita has been taken. Kotamrita has that word Kotamrita has been taken from Shimad Bhagavad. Pranata Dehinan Papa Karsha. The word that he did in his. Pranatari, those who bow down to you, they are papa. What is that papa? It will take a long time. That will stand from the way of human development. That will disappear. Pranatari Dehinam Papa Garsanam, Pranatari Amugam. But he is an ordinary fellow. He is following. Guala Tunatara Nugam Just a Guala Nand Guala Ka Tadka Hai Na Tunatara Nugam Sri Niketana And yet Sri Niketana Kuni Pana Arpitam I will not go to Bhagdar again. Beside a portion from Jagannatha, Agavad, just to make you acquainted how important is these words which are used for somebody who has been nurtured in, being nurtured at a hidden place where Kamsas that the kings the the king is how can I put it the, the king's wrath will not fall so that he can go ahead with his aim and objective, philosophy and ethics, to put it in your ordinary terminology. To, so philosophy and ethics, these two words cover the whole universe, so to say. Don't kindly, don't mislead me to speak about philosophy and ethics in total on one lecture and finish it, as if philosophy ends with me and ethics also ends with me. This Gopika was speaking about philosophy and ethics here also. 
which is being translated by Jagannath Das in Dasamaskanta Gopalila. Please concentrate on these few words and see if you can get some light. Do you know Do you know Yasoda Kumaro? Jibono Atma Prani Jibono Atma reminds us those who are well versed in philosophical culture they will be reminded of Elan Fighter in Bershom Do you know Yasoda Kumaro? Jibono of two Prani The very fine We are representing the very vital force. So the nation also. And I do not know if there is any vital force of which is also guiding the whole universe. Nobody knows. In one push, this earth may disappear. But what will remain? What does it know? That actually was anticipated by a great Urdu poet. Jab Krishna tha, to Khuda tha. Krishna hota, to Khuda ho. Jo oya humko hone ne, hone ne, humko hota to kya? We cannot complete this circle. We can start and leave it somewhere for the posterity. This is my understanding of philosophy and ethics. If you have got some light in this direction, I will be very grateful. And I will be grateful also to myself by getting some further light in the direction. That is what Vivekananda uh, did in that world of parliamentary religions. They found some similarity of thought in their highest achievement, let's, let's say in Christianity or in any other and also in Hinduism. Therefore, they lauded Vivekananda. And we are only making a show of the same, even now. What is not the point? Is not that Jibono to Pranik. Sakara Jantu Hude Thai, Antara Janu Bhavu Pranik. Tante Chitote Chintila Vedavaro. This is again the entire thing is conception. Philosophy stands for conception. The conception is there that people have been very much pressurized and they have tried to find some light in darkness and that light has come in the form of Kaneya in Mathura who is now being trained to meet the opposite force in the form of dark night of the soul. In Christianity it is called dark night of the soul. If the soul starts a journey, then only there will be a dark night. Otherwise, we can't even call it a dark night of the soul. We are going through so many dark nights, but we cannot say that is a dark night of the soul. But Sri Krishna was going on, going through the dark night of the soul in those days, along with these Gopikas.
this is again look at the contradiction jagannath das never was never afraid of contradiction look at the first line namai gushinga charana anadi paramkar lila vidruta kare bol devo mane bhagat this the form that is being conceived devo mane bhagat means it is beyond our own um, uh, own uh, Concepts through which we try to. This is water. This is uh, water. Uh, give me a glass of water. No, it's not like that. Then here, look at look at the another group. The other one was was a was a, a simple term. He has written this. Jero jado ko kure jato toro na hi jadi ho. This is called a sheer contradiction. As you are born as to jadus, you have no adi no anto. That means we find the eternity in a small space. You must be able to see the Lord. Desire in small things. See the eternity, infinity, infinite. Jero jada ko pule jato, to or na ya jato. This is to first time when I studied this, I couldn't understand. You are, you are, you are yourself. Born as a Jadu, Jadu Vatsi, and you are again, you have no Adi and Anta. It's both has been uh, proved before us that he was born. The same thing happened in case of Jesus Christ. Jesus was born, and yet he is Christ. Look at this, and yet he is Christ. He was crucified, and yet he had a permanent life, which even cannot be discerned, may not be understood properly by a Christian, super Christian. So similarly, so-called Vaishnava may not be able to understand what Vishnu is about to do or has been doing all these days. Both both Vishnu and Sudamani. अंबुर सिरे दियो पानी तोर पर ब्रह्म राशि स्वर्ण जन्म भयो नासि पद्मवति सुकुमार गोरा भई अछि वर दिजा रोडी कांसेप्ट एसोसिएटेड विथ इट तोर पाद पद्म बि बने जे गुरु को पछे थाई प्राणी को जे पाप नासि जल्दी तने आ विशेष से सफलसर पना सुंदर जन्म मरण पाप नाशे तुरित मान देहु ध्वंसे पवित्र करे सुधी पथ शिव जपंती Now this is kotha tamo kotha amrutam tamto jivano. This is the translation. Tamo kotha amrutam tamto jivano kabi vidhi tam karma saapo saora bhagavan se bola. Bhagavan ki te vidha. At the end, I would try to. I cannot. Put them all together, but one thing I can tell you, which I have learnt from Satyanu Sharan of of Thakur and Purushottam Ji, Guru Ni Bhagavan Kar Sakar Murti, 
And there's a forest. My master is my guide. Then he will send me to another master. I go step by step. There is no hurry. Because even if I go in the speed of, <laughs> let me say, a, a satellite, even then I can reach the end of the truth. So there is no hurry. But one thing we must do, we must go on. Finding a truth at the end. And again, the thing, the further end of it. So for that, we must have one pointed devotion to truth. As I said from the beginning, that's necessary. That's why Thakuran Kutundra said, Bhakti Vinna Sadhanare Sapore Varu Payakya Bhakti is Siddhyanti. Bhakti means attachment to the truth, ultimate truth, this ultimate end. But for that, we must have faith in our ultimate end and faith in the line which we have adopted. But that should not be blind faith. Because we must be prepared to examine ourselves from time to time so that we are not, we have not been misled. From, we should, that is why it is called looking behind. We must look behind. This is only a beginning of search of ultimate truth or ultimate good also because they are interconnected. In eudaimonism theory, this is interconnected with truth. Ultimate truth is ultimate good. But this is only a beginning. We cannot suppose to cover the whole of it. But I have only given you a few examples, beginning from those good old days when Sambhukas, Sambhuka was beheaded and Jesus Christ was murdered through. And also, where we have got such intellectual and such enlightened persons like Swamiji or Ramakrishna Paramahansa and others also who have given us the shown us the way. And of course, people like Ramana Maharshi and others who are before us. But one thing again, I have made it clear that here no ism comes to our rescue. Whether we are atheists, whether we follow atheism, or we follow some sort of theism, <laughs> we are follower of this or that cult. That's not the important. What is important is our love for truth. And love for the end. But, and we will not, there, there is some sloka or something like that, which I do not exactly remember. I will not rest till. Till what? That also is not the end. That which appears to be the end, we may not be the end. Look at the history, how many have gone? And yet, mankind is moving forward. 
to that future when we will get the light, lead kindly light, and will then certainly go. That's why we say. So with these few words, I thank you all, sir, all professors from Das and professors, all the professors' friends, students, teachers who have joined this session. And if there is some question which can give us further insight into the problems which I have put before you. These are my own problems. Which have, and I, I, am, I have not solved this problem, nor, nor can I solve any time. If you can just help me. Then I'll be very grateful to you. You can ask anything, that, any question that you can. Thank you very much. All my best wishes. Thank you. Thank you uh, very much, sir, for your high thought provoking lecture. Philosophy family is greatly. Now I request Professor Pramod Kumar Das to present a brief synopsis of the talk of Professor Das. He will put it in a brief synopsis of the entire lecture of Professor Das. Hello, sir. Namaskar, sir. Namaskar. Namaskar. My pronoun to the great teacher of our. My pronoun to the great teacher of our nation, Professor Dr. Jisin Naik Sir. Really, this lecture uh, is so lucid and clear that it needs no synopsis. It is a it is a very wonderful uh, evening for all of us. We learned many things from. Thank you, sir. From you, Thank sir. You. From you, sir. But in very few words, just what I what I learned from you, uh, I can I can I can summarize. Uh, <clears throat> sir said that um, philosophy is the study of truth, the ultimate truth, and ethics is the study of the highest good. And both of uh, the ultimate truth and the highest good are not of human reach. Man tries to reach, but the pursuit of truth and the pursuit of highest good does not end at a point. It is an yes. on it is an on ending search. Very good, very good. It is an on ending search. Very good. But the paradox is that the searching of truth and the highest good is a human possibility, and at the same time, it is also a human crisis that man, man creates obstacles himself by understanding the truth and the highest good. Correct. And that crisis takes the shape of the social system and lifestyle of human beings. So, <clears throat> um, Sir gave so many examples that Sati Daha Pratha, uh, how a woman is forced to uh, be killed, forced to die, after the death of her husband, and how, how in the society women are not allowed for study, for, for studying scriptures. So, uh, what, what, actually the, what actually is the job of a philosopher? A philosopher claims that I have studied philosophy and by that I have created a system, philosophical system. But philosophy is, is simply a view, is simply an idiom. As, as, as Jaina system says that every philosophy, every view is simply a view from a perspective. So man cannot reach, man cannot end that search because man is a part of the ultimate truth. The part cannot reach the whole, but 
the crisis is that man concludes somewhere and makes a philosophical system and and becomes convinced of the uh, convinced of the system and says that i know everything and that should not be the search should go on there is a satire yes. that is a, there is a satire uh, those some 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 um uh, some thinkers they criticize philosophical pursuit as the philosophy is a sort of a black cat in the dark room where it is not where it is not we take that we take this satire in a very positive sense yes yes philosophy yes. is only searching it is not searching what because 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 we are not interested we are not interested in searching the black cat or white white cat because that is the job of science our duty our job is only searching and that that searching will that searching will never end and sir gave uh, sir gave um, a very beautiful conclusion also that as we cannot end the circle of journeying we should start our journeying and we should continue and we should that is that is the human possibility and that is education that is philosophy in the true sense of the term it, it does not matter whether we are whether we are an atheist somebody is an atheist or somebody is a theist the highest value is the value of humanity so be whether you are a you are an atheist or a theist you should follow the value of humanism that is the highest value that is the highest value and philosophy is not confined to any degree any post any chair it, it, it is it has been observed that a mother loves the child a mother an illiterate mother also can love child so where from that love springs so for loving the child a mother is not to be required as educated as a philosopher many people they do not know philosophy in the literal sense ethics in the literal sense but they know they understand they realize the essence of love and the essence of truth and as gopikas prasar um, said that as gopikas they were illiterate they were they do they, they were not aware of philosophy and ethics but they were aware of lord krishna and the, and the uh, lord krishna and his uh, his existence and his love so truth is a mystery and this mystery is always a mystery always remains as a mystery which is never revealed by any philosophy whether it is the philosophy of east or west whether it is the philosophy of any idiom that cannot reveal the ultimate truth but as a human being as a as a human being as a the man who is in pursuit who is in search of truth should not end the journey he should he should he should man should be in the pursuit of journey the pursuit of truth is not the truth we are confusing that the the pursuit of truth is not not the truth the pursuit should remain as a pursuit uh, professor professor ranjit ghosh uh, also remarked that that uh, that the search of the search for truth and love should be gender neutral exactly sir said that and he said that it has been initiated by sri ramakrishna paramahansa yes that should be that should be and that should be the attitude of a philosopher so and at the last at the at last from sir said that philosophy is an attitude philosophy is an attitude of learning philosophy is an attitude of uh, searching the truth and ethics ethics reflects philosophy in our practical life philosophy clarifies the ethical values and ethics reflects the reflects philosophy in our practical life so both are complementary to each other uh, thank you thank you sir we are grateful to you for your for your for your very lucid and uh, very thought provoking uh, presentation now this discussion uh, now this is open for discussion over to rao sir over to rao sir thank you professor thank you uh, professor uh, pramod kumar das for your uh, very nice uh, synopsis of the entire professor nine
Now is the time for interaction wisdom. I request, because sir is there with us, I request Dr. Ranjit Ghosh to unmute himself and put forth the question before Professor Max here. Ranjit Ghosh. Yes, please. Please. Sir. Sir, Namaskar. Thank you. Namaste. Namaskar, sir. Sir, um, I, 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 I hope you are all right. I hope Thank you, you are all right. Uh, I also, uh, I also uh, uh, always think that Jivet Sarata Satam. You must uh, continue. Uh, Oh, thank you very much. It was for 100 years to uh, give us uh, such discourse from uh, time to time. Thank you very much. Uh, sir, you have very rightly uh, told us that the gender neutrality, gender neutrality is very much absent in the seeking of truth from time immemorial. That is uh, also gender neutrality. That means yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, that actually defeats the very purpose of the seeking of truth and value. Uh, philosophy, uh, philosophy and ethics. But, uh, one exception I find as a counter instance that is the, in the philosophy of Sri Ramakrishna. And you have also at the end of your lecture you mentioned about that. The, this type of uh, uh, general gender neutrality is found in the philosophy of Sri Ramakrishna. This was just an observation. Thank you. Gender neutrality, what did you want to say? Sir, what is your question, sir? It is not a question, it is an observation. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, you have you mentioned about. Gender uh, neutrality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the latter part of your you have mentioned about Ramakrishna Paramahansa, and uh, that is what I was uh, thinking uh, from the beginning. That uh, uh, that is actually a counter instance to such a situation. Uh, actually, that is not no gender bias. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Thank Namaskar. You, thank you, Doctor Bush. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, thank you, sir. I don't see any other question in the chat box, but we have uh, senior professors like uh, Dr. Ratnakar Gajendra, uh, Dr. Aniruddha Panda, and uh, I have I see even um, uh, um, Dr. Subhasini Barik. Uh, <laughs> make a long back. All of them are our students. Anybody, if anybody wants to uh, put forth a question or seek any sort of clarification, may kindly unmute and put the question directly to Professor Nayak. Anybody? Uh, uh, yes, Kumarsini Barik is there. Please uh, uh, unmute yourself and put the question. Sir Pranam. Namaste. 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 Nice, uh, to, nice to talk to you. Yes. Sir, after such a long time. After such a long time, thank you. Making you a pleasure to me, sir. Thank you. And listening to you is just like I mean coming back to Bani Vihar. Thank you so much. Just like you. Oh, and Bani Vihar, very good. We are long back, long back. Thank you. Sir, I, I, I met you last in Delhi and after uh, many time, many years I am meeting you and uh, uh, it's a pleasure. Thank you. Your, so your, your, sir, sir, after Bani Vihar, what I found today, today you really, you really summarize the entire philosophy while discussing Jagannath Das Bhagavad. Thank you, thank you. It was like a cream after churning all the bottom bills. 
<laughs> I'm really grateful to you, sir. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, madam. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, madam. Uh, my uh, my question is, uh, I mean, I found everything uh, very particular because uh, during my uh, study, I was learning philosophy without knowing anything, any base. <laughs> While right now being a teacher, while uh, I mean exercising my knowledge, exercising my teacher in Delhi, sir, I'm teaching at Delhi University. Delhi University. Delhi University. Yes. With my minimum knowledge of uh, philosophy, while I enter my classroom. I found many uh, 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 dilemmatic situations. What to accept and what to reject. <laughs> Very nicely you uh, stated that philosophy stands for genuineness and ethics is just like practicing philosophy. Practicing. Yes. It is just practicing philosophy. Practicing. 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 Uh, yes, yes, yes. So, wherever, wherever human endeavor is there, wherever hum, uh, human intervention is there, it is a kind of ethical role we are playing everywhere. Yes. And wherever it is, it is all philosophical. That is my understanding. And you put it in a very uh, lovely way. Thank you. Second, Thank you. initially, sir, you said. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, when we discuss karna, from karna, karna, karna. karna. You, you, you had discussed sati pratha and incidents of karna. How? Karna, karna, yes, yes. And also <laughs> How karna was deprived of his own rights? Yes. Correct. And Correct. you also discussed about Eklavya. Yes, yes. And you said that that time philosophy was not in a safe hand. That is the reason. <laughs> the depictions, depictions was made in such a way that uh, I mean, these kind of deprivations which were there and these kind of uh, imbalance in society was very so my question is every time we are discussing Bhagavad Gita we are discussing Pandava and Kaurava under Gita we discuss the dharma as well as adharma my question is when I am saying it, is, it was not in safe hand, then what to follow and what to reject? It discuss dharma, it discuss a dharma as well. Both the things are being discussed under Bhagavad Gita, where we are getting the, uh, I mean, illustrations of a dharma while discussing these things. In other aspects of society also, when a woman, like uh, you have cited uh, Sabitri Bhai Phule, who was deprived of the minimum right of education, and that is, yes, of course, that 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 was being uh, uh, controlled by a major uh, portion of society who were controlling, that is the reason they were prevailing, many, uh, they were exercising their power and creating a kind of uneven, unbalanced society. So my question is, in Gita particularly, if it is not in safe hand, it was not in safe hand, then what person, how to know? Actually, my question is, how to know that, because uh, ultimately also you said uh, that uh, beginning of Sorts of ultimate is the sorts of ultimate good. If you are really, if we are, see, my, my dilemma, sir, uh, because I think you can only, uh, 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 I mean, 
uh, help me to get out of this dilemma that once I am searching for truth, before I achieve the truth, that ignorance is with me. Once that ignorance is conveyed, then I am getting that knowledge. Once I am getting that knowledge, then everything is right for me. But here, in sorts of if philosophers are only in the process, the way Dr. Pramod said, he was, uh, I mean, uh, I have missed some of your lectures, but uh, if it is only a process, but we need to have an aim also. We need to have an aim. With an aim only, if we start searching, that beginning has to have a kind of aim, goal, so that we can in that process also will be uh, 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 also doing something in universal good. So that process has to have a kind of achievement as well. So these are two things. Uh, initially I said Gita, that confusion, the Gita need to be taken care of or some questions are there. We need to uh, have a question there. And second thing, this uh, philosophical practice uh, uh, uh where well, I, I don't know whether we are into the search or we need to we have some responsibility as well as a as a uh, responsible person of the society we need to take care of some responsibility on our shoulder so that we are not only engrossed with the process but also we have to take care of some task as well. Third thing, third thing which I, uh, I was, uh, 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 I mean, from you at least I expect, the way you uh, discussed uh, Jagannath Das, when I was a student of philosophy, I did not have any idea about Jagannath Das, sir, but right now I am learning a lot on, I am really going through Jagannath Das Bhagavat, and I am getting that it is a cream of philosophy okay. all kind of philosophy is available in the writings of jagannath okay. don't you think such kind of text should be available in our syllabus during our ma studies so that we'll have a glimpse of it and later on we can also uh, uh, kind of we can also uh, uh, do some research and we can highlight our cultural heritage. Thank you, sir. Thank you, madam, for a long, long speech from your side. It was it's all right. Gita, Gita can be How about a little there? So, a little section. Thank <laughs> you. 
Open-mindedness. If open-mindedness can be learned from philosophical education, that is a great learning, according to me. Open-mindedness is not so easy to cultivate. So you will cultivate what? Open-mindedness. Not a theory. Don't, don't, madam. What is the name of madam? I am not talking of any theory and to cultivate that theory, but cultivate open mindedness. For changing any theory and accepting any other theory as it comes on your way. That's my point. To go on uh, constantly moving. And I think Buddha, Siddhartha, Gautama, also the same thing. I, I am not the first one to say Gautama told that the change is the reality. Reality is the change. It always goes on. Change is the observation. Be prepared for change and let your mind be open. Thank you for Madam Professor Bari. I agree with you. You must have a product, and the product is there in Bhagavad Gita. So Gita itself may be a product, but Gita herself says that you go on doing your exercise on that. In Gita it is This is Gita. Take this line. You go on. Again, for the question. So, thank you, madam. Thank you, sir. Some other day, I don't know if that can be. Can do it. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Dr. Rao. Dr. Rao. Eternal. There is an eternal going on. Dr. Rao, I shall speak only one sentence. Uh, to, you, to, to, to Dr. Subhasin Barik, that, uh, that, 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 that what is the goal actually in philosophy? Sir said that the ultimate, the, the, the goal of a philosophy is the, is, is the searching of the ultimate oh. truth. If that is the goal, then there is no end to our search. Ah, that's correct. Ah, so, so, so we have to we have to understand we have to understand what we are searching for. If we are searching for the ultimate truth, then our process should not end somewhere. Yes, yes. That is so. Our process is not to end the process. We should not conclude. We should not conclude somewhere that this is philosophy. Yeah. That this is the truth. 
and this this has been said in jaina system that don't take the leg as the elephant don't take the belly as the elephant so what is the goal if the goal is the ultimate truth if the goal is the highest good that cannot be reached by the any process pers- pursued by human beings we should go on go on go on, go on, go on. thank you go on go on chari bethi ंग ethics and philosophy the relation that is the reason i said thank you so much thank you thank you thank you, thank you madam thank you madam if, if anybody wants to put any sort of question to professor naik they can please unmute themselves uh, and uh, put the question anybody another another sir sir is there anybody i, I don't see anything uh, फिलोसफी फैमिली to all the members who have participated and also all those who have put forth the questions before the speaker i'm really thankful to uh, uh, dr rahul kumar das sir for taking all the responsibility and pain for uh, helping uh, dr naik to uh, carry on the um, webinar uh, in uh, the virtual platform uh, helping professor naik in uh, providing the technology so i'm very much thankful to uh, Bas- uh, dr basanta sir i'm uh, I'm, i'm very much thankful to professor dc uh, naik sir who has shown the way uh, as to how we need to take philosophy and ethics and there is no end to philosophy it's always a search and the search must go on and we as philosophers we are thinkers to so go on go on and go on without thinking of the end because there is no end thank you everybody thank you everybody for making this webinar a successful one once again from the from the platform of philosophy family i thank professor gc naik sir dr basanta sir dr pradeep uh, badal sir uh, professor uh, ranjit da, ranjit ghosh sir subhasini barik and uh, uh, dr anirudh panda dr ratnakar gajendra and everybody who has uh, uh, who have attended this webinar and made this webinar a successful one thank you thank you everybody Thank you, sir. Thank you. Many, many thanks. Thanks, sir. Okay, sir. Namaskar. Namaskar, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.